Welcome to the Empire by this Rampage, and welcome back to my Crown of Poland campaign for the Zodom Soda War mods during the fall of Constantinople. Where, today, William the Conqueror, are you gonna die? <laughs> Maybe. We're gonna try and see, because we just have to survive this one fight, then we can abandon this area, bring my forces over, and have it so that we can continue our um, kind of naval piracy, basically, what we're trying to do in this castle here. We just have to survive. We're at number five to one, and uh, we'll have to see how this goes. We have a pretty good chance, I would say, given the fact that, for the most part, um, I'm going to have my cav try and turn towers on. They do not have cannons in this army, but there is already the one damage section. So, we'll try and turn the towers on. We're going to hold back at the final layer and see what we can do. But we do need to abandon this area and focus more of our attention onto the proxy war with Hungary and also our coastal invasions and just piracy in general uh, against the Ottomans because those are actually bearing fruit. So we've been able to take two territories away from the Ottomans in Wallachia and I have given that land over to the Hungarians. We're going to keep doing that so that the Hungarians are going to keep bolstering the western so their, their southeastern side but they will be trying to apply more pressure hopefully to the Ottomans western side. I will be trying to really hammer them home in the south. And then also probably in the east at some point too. But what we're going to do is go back here and get all of my wagon forts get set up here. So like right there. And then right there. There we go. So you guys can group up. Put stakes down. And then we've got these guys as well. Put you back for right now. These cab units will be staying back here. But you guys, um, so the main army that's attacking is... This one's not going to matter. So I'm just going to have you guys stay in the second layer. Because right now, this layer at least will be able to do some damage. I don't know why they decided to focus on this gate, as opposed to this one. They walked the ram in the entire way around. <laughs> Didn't decide to break down the gate that was right here. So uh, we're, we're definitely going to survive, seeing as how it took them forever to get over here. I am going to try and give them a little bit of a boost here. I'll try and help them out. So I want them to actually lose units besides just the, like, 3% I've killed so far. Uh, I will open the gates here, and I will try and have it so that uh, we will let them in this time. And hopefully they'll take that bait. So, like, you guys kind of casually walk in here, but I'll kind of do the same thing I tried to do with you last time. And I'll you try and open the gates for them. I was trying to put some guys up on the walls here, but they just don't want to fire from that angle. Oh my god, and as soon as they get to the walls here, they just start running. Come on! I want to kill more than you, just the 3%. It's like, come on, guys. Throw, throw your cab in here. I have the gates wide open here for you. Just throw in some cab. Come on, have them buy the stakes, please. As long as they don't re-siege us here, at least, I will be able to get this army out of here. We'll be able to get these guys out of here, and we'll be sending them over to start trying to focus more on the offensive as opposed to the defensive. I'm probably going to leave these two cab units here. Honestly, just to be a nuisance. Because these five guys will probably be able to get a decent amount of kills just from them trying to siege this again. So I'm not opposed to that. We got it up to 4%, so like that's like what? They had like 3,000 guys, so it's like what, 120 guys that we've killed? It's not bad. I lost one, because you took one casualty while you were trying to sit up on the walls here trying to shoot them. But hey! kill one guy on my end, lose one guy and kill 120 on the other end, that's, I am completely okay with that. I am very fine with that. And as long as they don't re-siege us, we'll be able to continue trying to push through here. Uh, it's basically just whether or not they re-siege the area. Because uh, I have my I have my ships ready and waiting to pick this army up, and so we can leave. The time for because I, I have to... I, I'm not opposed to city around here prevail. and continuing to, to like delay them around this area, but also I feel like it's not that engaging, and we should really try and go on the offensive. Para is a really good city, though. It is a really good city for defense. I could almost just leave just the... Actually... What if I left just the wagon forts? If I left just the wagon forts in this castle... And I took everybody else out. They deserved nothing less than death. That might be perfect. I still okay. I get to have all the generals make their way out and have them go on the offensive. But the wagon forts, the wagon forts aren't good for offensive fights, anyways. Wagon forts and cav. 
I'm kind of leaning towards that. That way we can make sure we still kind of control Para. And the Wagon Force will probably be able to do a good amount of damage. I think I'm going to do that. I, I, I think I will do that. Leave the Wagon Forts behind with those five cab units. We'll take the Generals and everybody else out. And I think that's good. Because we at least have it so that like if we do that, we at least have two units of stakes with us. Yeah. Uh, military mind, I'll accept you. Uh, you are currently way up here as we're trying to gather more forces because I know they at least are letting me train around here. And then I know uh, my other army, yeah, you are going to be able to easily deal with them this next turn. Um, perfect. Because I'll have it so that you... Oh, you don't need those guys for right now. So they can just keep kind of gathering down around here. Deathlocks land. Yep, still around here. Just waiting for that plague to go away. But we will start building this area up. So we've started to convert it. Um, I don't think we're going to grab anything else for right now. We can at least just grab, like, one priest. But let's focus on trying to be able to get uh, recruits around here. So this area, we're going to specifically focus really just on military. I'm not going to focus on anything else um, besides that, just to make sure we can get as many troops around here as possible and have this be a really good military facility to uh, strike at my enemies. But yeah, back over here, like... Yeah, let's just leave just you four in this city. If you hold it, if you can continue holding this with just those, I will be extremely proud of you guys. And I'll do that. Like, I can get some, uh... I can get some peasant archers, so you have something else around here, and they're free upkeep. But every, all the important guys, I'm gonna take you guys out of here. And let's set sail. And we're gonna wait until uh, the plague has stopped to push you into the city. But I can get to you at least around here. Hopefully the plague will stop, like, this turn or next turn. Um, and then we just need to keep trying to build this area up. But hey, well, let's, let's see what happens here with just leaving just these four units. If that's going to be enough to kind of delay them. I can also grab these guys too, because these guys should be free upkeep. How many free upkeep plus we have? We have up to five. So yeah, we'll grab those four guys initially. It's something in here. And we'll start trying to get this autonomy decree, because if we can get that, that will allow me to get ha armored halberds and everything around here. So I do want to try and do that. Back over here now, though. Um, we need to continue pushing into them. So... The next city that I know about that I want to take from you guys would probably be that one. Although, oh no, there's this one right here. This one right here I can push into because that's... Yeah, that is under the control of the Ottomans. So we want to make my way up here. Strike this city. Uh, there's just some cav here. So let's see, how's my cav doing? My cav is starting to take a little bit of damage. But we'll fight this with primarily my infantry, I'd say. But push on in here, take this city, and continue handing this over to the Hungarians. I wish I could get some money out of them for this, but for right now, I'm just going to be happy with the fact that this is going to continue bolstering their borders. So, basically, I'm going to be giving, like, all of Wallachia to the Hungarians. And if I can just keep this pressure up on the western side, slowly but surely, I'm going to keep whittling down the Ottomans, which I'm pretty happy about. So, let's get my cannon. Uh, you're probably pretty fine is where you are. This fight, I actually do need to really kind of use more of my infantry for this fight, because I'm starting to run out a little bit on my cav. So we'll have you guys primarily be the ones to kind of run on in. But yeah, break down the gates, and then we'll kind of advance on in. They'll probably go to the city center for the most part. Oh, you guys are a bit too close. You're not supposed to be that close to the walls. Kind of back up a bit here, guys. The towers are kind of firing on us. Are you seriously missing the gates? Come on, guys. You need like one hit to get through the gates, don't you? Okay, my melee cap, I will have you try and go after the horse archers, though. Um, I'll have some of my melee cap, my melee infantry, try and join on in with you guys to help fight. Um, but the rest of you are trying to just go towards the city center and just start trying to capture it. So, like, the horse archers right now, not too worried about them, but we'll have all the halberds and some of my spearmen here try and join on up to help us out against the horse archers. You guys should be doing, able to do pretty good damage against them. And then I'll basically just send the uh, Papis uh, spearmen uh, towards the city center so you guys can start capturing that. So I think they're going to send the like, melee cab over that way, possibly. Yeah. And then sending all the halberds towards you guys here is probably the best way to go about this. Melee cab. Let's play you guys out a little bit. Because I want to have it so that what we'll do is try and get you guys, the infantry, to primarily take over fighting in melee. And then my melee cab will try and flank. So you guys try and go over here. And then, yeah, you guys start trying to fight the horse archers and the melee cab. And then I will come around the backside here. Uh, I'm probably going to go after this other horse archer first. Unless they change their tactics. Uh, they're just now rushing straight. Yep, okay, so yeah. 
Melikav over here. Oh, over here, guys. Over here, because you should be able to use this alleyway. Get on in this area. And then I'll have you guys surround them. And then hopefully... Fight them there. Just make sure none of you... No, wrong way. Wrong way. You were going the wrong way. Go over here. You are going the wrong way. No! Stop being an idiot! Go over here. No! Stop! Oh my god, the pathing. Here. Go. There. You. Help. Here. Number wise. Third of their army is dead. Oh my god, guys. Literally, just go around this fucking way. <laughs> I know you can. The is... Our men have <sighs> slain there we go. The Saracen Saracen General's General. dead. Get over here. Now we must send his men running back to the death. There you go. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. Remains. Okay. So, the captain's dead. Now this force will hopefully... Wavering. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to kill them all before the battle's over. Yeah. But there we go. Only 9%. And then this army is now dead. Now I'll be able to have it. So we'll give this over to Hungary. And then I will continue pushing. Um, I'm debating if I should just like literally like secure all of Wallachia first. Or if I should really just hammer home on like their western side. I kind of want to have it so I'd help them take Wallachia first. Like just get all of Wallachia. Because that means then some of the land I give them will actually be defended by the, for the newer land that I take for them. So I think I'm actually pretty okay with that idea. Because that would mean next city we're going to be trying to go for. So again, we're going to sack. Just get some money from it. So we'd want to go for either this city or this city. These regions I want to control myself. So I want to take this stuff at some point myself. But for right now, because this is under control of Hungary. This is under control. This will be under the control of Hungary. Um, but I can start making my way over here. Let's go give that over to my allies. So, give region. They're currently bankrupt. Not the best, but still. I'm going to give you this as a gift. I wonder if I should give you guys some money. But I'll just give that as a gift. Just give that as a gift there. And then you guys did get a garrison. Perfect. Uh, the Ottomans do not like me. I wonder why. But yeah, there we go. So now you will start making your way over probably here next. Which one has less dudes? They both have about the same amount. But yeah, no, so you'll make your way over here, kind of merge men together, and there's mercenaries. Um, you've got stakes, so I'm probably going to grab you. Let's grab these guys, the Bulgarian brigands. Grab those guys, keep making our way around over this way, so it'll be two turns until we get over there. Here right now, let's see, so... You guys are doing okay around here. Technically, my troops are holding. I'm gonna have you go here, kind of stand on the bridge, so if they're going to attack around this area, we can at least try and hit them. Uh, Money-wise, though, we've actually got quite a bit right now, so let's get some more um, farms around Kiev, and then we need to have it so uh, I can get some better farm stuff here. You guys... I want to try and get you some more growth. Get the apothecary. Yeah, get the apothecary there, because we don't have enough money for the windmill. So grab that. And do I have anything else that I want to grab right now? I don't believe so. No. Okay. Well, that's good for now. Now we have to kind of see like what happens with Para now that we have just these four units around here. Got at least a priest around here, so if anything at all, I might have you move into this area. So you can start trying to convert the area and kind of maybe piss off uh, the populace around Constantinople. So you can go there. And then it's just like, yeah, next turn. Hopefully this plague is gone next turn. Alrighty, plague is gone here. Perfect. So, well, actually, wait. Technically, it's still affecting one of the characters. Okay, so we want to make sure we won't put you in there just yet, but still. I can now at least have you guys... Also, is this still... Yeah, it is still controlled by them. Otherwise, I was going to say, I can maybe take that fort. But, you know, I'll have you guys here, because I can't put up a... I can't put up a fort around here, but I can at least have you get the watchtower. But yeah, no, you guys will now start trying to see if we can slowly but surely uh, recover my forces around here. And we'll be using this as our main base of operations to continue harassing the Ottomans. Uh, Kilia is sieged right now by a pretty small army, so I'm probably going to be able to easily kill you. Also, I forgot to do something. I forgot to go up here and deal with you guys last turn. That's a bit of a problem, but that's okay. We can now make sure we kill you guys off right now. Let's just start off with that this turn. Uh, get rid of the remnants of these Lithuanian pretenders. And then I can bring this force back down south. And I'm probably going to have you start helping out with the... Because I'd want to say... We take the stuff for, uh, uh, for Wallachia, give that to the Hungarians, 
Then I want to kind of push the front forward a little bit. Because basically it's starting trying to have it so that my allies, that's like where we're having the first initial breach is with the Hungarians. And then I'm kind of following up by taking a little bit more land so I can kind of help push the border forward even more. It's kind of the thought process. Um, let's see. So... I don't like where we're starting. I... Should be fine. Should be fine. Who cares? Um, let's get the wagon forts kind of set up there. Um, we can put stakes up again in this army. So it'll be you and you. These guys can't put up stakes. Okay, so... Right. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why I don't want to fight in the fucking trees. So I'm going to back up here. I'm going to back up here because then I can actually see. There we go. So you guys there. You guys here. The yeah, AI should probably still advance on me. If they don't, I will go over with my cav and harass them. Uh, everybody else just kind of back up initially here. Infantry, cav, group you guys up. Cav can kind of just stay where they are a little bit kind of over there. And then my infantry over here. And then over here. And then that should be good. Start to limit. And then you are a hook on her, so you can kind of just stay where you are. Crossbows behind you guys. And then I'll have it so you try and be in front of the wagon forts, I guess. Like, you can go there. This is a crossbow unit, so I want to back you up. And I'll put uh, these guys right there. Then I got two other units of hook gunners. And just guns in general that aren't being used. What we can do is here. So if you guys kind of go like so. Kind of leave a little bit of a gap there, essentially, for them to try and shoot through. You guys can do that. And the same kind of deal over here. That way you guys can kind of do something, although I don't feel like I'm going to need to probably use you guys. But yeah, guard mode on, on all of my units. And then my cav, they seemingly at the moment are not advancing on me. So, let's just have my guys go fuck them up. Let's just go charge into their skirmishers here. Because you guys probably should be able to get a good charge in here. Do some initial damage. Actually, we should probably go off to the side more. So we'll go off to the side. Try maybe hit some of the cav first initially. Lure them into fighting us. And then once they advance onto our position, we should be able to do some pretty good damage. Because these are all skirmisher calves. Yeah, go off to the side more. Unless they're going to really, like, actually bring this one gun unit forward. Yeah, they are. If they're going to do that, I can just charge you. So yeah, you guys go for the skirmisher cav. See, those are some spearmen. Just ignore them for right now. Go after the Archibuses. Yeah, start trying to do some good damage to you guys. And then try and do some damage to these horse archers. And then I'll probably try and pull you guys out in a second. Oh, you're fighting the heavy cap now, anymore, so. Uh, you guys are doing some good damage. If I could break this unit, I'd want to do that before I run. Okay, pull back here with the ca these cap. And let's pull back here with you guys. So I think we've done enough damage. That they might now start advancing on me. 5% of their forces are already dead. Go, go, go. Pull back, pull back. Let's lure them away from their uh, range units. Then we'll fight this guy. Now fight him. Should be far enough away. Yep, now they're advancing over towards my units. Our Still men a lot of guns battle, over here. If we yeah, winning like against this, this heavy cav. Uh, pull away from them for a second. We don't want to fight those skirmishers. Or fight with those skirmishers so close. Pull back, pull back into the tree line. Did that cab just fuck off? Yeah, it did. Okay. Well, let's kill all their skirmishers. So, like, right there, right there. That's a spearman. Don't fight. Don't do not do that. And then, like, you come back over here. Because they've already lost 12% uh, of their forces already. Love to see that. Yeah, charge into these javelin men. There's at least, like, one man there. You're supposed to also help out here. That's the heavy cab there. That guy's broken. There we go. Let's run that guy down. And then... If we need to come back like around to help out against this cav unit, if possible. Right there. Help out against the heavy cav. A lot of them are just really focusing over here. Okay, let's just try and pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Let's get into the tree line. Because my out, my force is over here. So far off to a pretty good start, I'd say. Yeah, some of these guys are all just breaking. Let's just regroup. And they are already breaking rather nicely as they get to us. Perfect. So... Cav just kind of pull back. There's Their general's now running. Everybody else is slowly making their way over here. And the infantry they have in this army is not that crazy. So these guys, yeah, they're already routing there. This is a rebel army too, so we don't need to run them all down. Because they've already lost half their army now at this point in time. 
So now we just have to wait for you guys, because they've got some of their archers still. Let's go to the side here. Get ready to focus on charging you guys down. So we can have uh, you guys go after those arc abusers. You guys would go after the, the Lithuanian enemy archers. They have lost uh, half careful there, guys. Yeah, they're running. Two thirds are already dead. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to run them down just for more experience. So let's run them all down just to get some more experience, I would say. Because there's a lot in this blob right here. Plus, we can give some more chevrons to you guys, which would be really good for us as I continue making you guys keep pushing down south. There, and then I think that'll be good once we get this, unit, I'd say. Because that'll be enough. That's, yeah, 94% of the enemy army there. Okay. Yeah, 59 casualties. Beautiful. Because I really want to have it so that, ideally, this army will keep making their way down south. We'll take Wallachia. Liberate that. Give the, I wish I could actually like, liberate it properly, but the second best thing is just give it over to the Hungarians. Keep doing that. Once Wall yeah, once Wallachia is claimed, I want to actually push my front forward and actually hold new land for myself. Because that region... So, so, yeah, you guys, there's no other like large groups of rebels I want to kill. Oh, no, there's one over here. So we should go kill you two, because I think this is another... It's another army of Lithuanians. Yep, so we'll go over there kill that one off too. Because that's a pretty sizable chunk. Uh, but no, this area here, that is a city. That one's a city. And then the other city region is this one, but that's also a city too. There's no good castles, which I kind of am sad about. Uh, Para's been able to repair their stuff. They're sieged again, but at least, hey, I've got some more dudes. <laughs> Slowly but surely, hey, maybe you guys will be able to hold this. But at least I got my guys out of there. So you, yeah, you're trying to get some more infantry around here. Uh, other than that right now, that's a construction report. Also, let's see, you guys. Oh, we could get the heavy Ar uh, Arbalestios here. Which I do want. Because those guys have been able to have stakes is an amazing crossbow unit. So I'll grab them. And I don't have enough money to do anything else this turn. Okay. But at least this army. Let's keep making my way forward and trying to figure out. Because I'm probably trying to go for here. And at the moment, I see like nothing. Beautiful. And as long as Hungary actually holds this land. Like I'm curious if that's actually boosting them up a little bit at all. Um, cause, let's see, where are they again? There they are. Wow, we're not even that far off. Militarily, they're stronger than me. Territorially, I have, they have a little bit more land. But then again, I'm giving them land. Financially, they are recovering. They're doing a little bit better from financial. Yeah. Yeah, ever since I gave them those territories, they are doing a little bit better. That is good. I like to see that. Let's see. Another suitable heir. Let's see. Um, I'm going to say no. We don't need that many administratively minded stuff right now. Papal election. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder who it's going to fucking be. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who's going to be the fucking Pope. Yeah, no shit. Now, can I please do a crusade? I am not loved by the Pope. Oh my god. <sighs> Why can I not target the Ottomans with this bullshit? I am now the Pope, and I don't get to actually target things I want to with the Pope, Papal Seat. God damn it. Okay. Well, we're slowly starting to build up my forces around here, though. So, start trying to build this up. Uh, I am just going to keep spamming this, because uh, we only have the first level for the decree, but slowly but surely we will get that, because I can max out... I can almost max out my barracks. Yeah, I could get up to at least passives. Pavis, Spearman. Yeah, I'd at least be able to get to that. Ranges would be able to at least get up to... Eh, not the craziest, but still. We will at least get some units around here. Um, most advanced faction is me. Aha. Uh -huh. Yossi can now grow. Nice. So, cue that up there. Um, yeah, we just built that up there. Merchant's Wharf. Let's have you guys... Oh, again, this building has no downsides. Grab it. We're gonna port. That's you guys. Oh, I forgot to go help with this siege. Oh, they broke the siege. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'll send you over this way. And then I want to try and have it so... Uh, I think these guys can be retrained. Let's pull you guys back. And then I'll have it so you grab these guys. So you've got some more infantry there. Back over... Where did he go? Send him down this way. Where the fuck did you go, man? There he is. 
Yeah, so next turn I can have you get rid of this rebel army. No one can make it our way over. But yeah, Milan and uh, Hungary at least have been reconciled. Now please have it so that something will happen where I can actually get like... I want to target the Ottomans with a crusade, and I just can't for some damn reason. But uh, no, let's go over here for Bucharest. So we're going to push on in here. This area has just a bunch of cavalry. Again, I'll primarily just use a lot of my infantry, I would say, to try and help break them. I do have that other army right there. Hopefully that doesn't mean they put garrison into the other city. Because I just need these two more settlements. That way I can then keep pushing the front up with the Hungarians. And then I think we'll have it so like once uh, my other army that's going to deal with rebels is done, they can make their way down south and that's when we properly start trying to push forward a little bit. Because like Bacau was holding nicely, but also I I do want to try and see if I can find a castle at some point to use as a defense down south. Uh, cannon, let's get you just a little bit closer, probably about, yeah, about here. Um, and then I'll group all of my infantry up. And basically, I'll be mainly using you guys for the most part. Skirmishers are don't are worthless right now, at least for this uh, small of an army. So just start deployment, break down the gates, and then I'm kind of hoping they maybe just like kind of walk into the city center. Alrighty, guys, let's start making our way forward. I'm gonna have the cannons try and see if they can take out some of the towers while I move my forces up. Cav, I will move you guys a little bit closer so I maybe have you guys help out eventually. Because I think at the moment right now, because of the armor I have on my units, I don't have to worry about the towers too much. But still, it's not a bad idea to try and take out the towers in case they do extra damage. Because I think they're just basic arrow towers. And actually, we're almost about to destroy one. Something is said 90. Oh, it's the gatehouse. Gatehouse is at 98%. Okay. But yeah, still, you guys push on in here. Slowly but surely, start pushing into the cavalry. Yeah, we don't take nearly as much damage when I let my infantry be the ones that deal with you guys. So I'm going to have my basic spearmen go try and capture the city center. Everybody else, let's make our way up and try and keep finishing off these cab units in case they try and make their way back to the city center. Because it's just now without their captain, they shouldn't uh, do all that well against my units. Oh, <laughs> you instantly broke! What the fuck was that, man? Why'd you instantly break? Ah, dude, why? Okay, everybody else, the really good units, make your way forward, finish this off, although now we're near the towers again. Eh, hopefully that's not that bad. If we continue Let's get like you guys to kind of go around over here to kind of flank a little bit more, but at least these three units, you yeah, keep trying to fight this guy. The rest of you, yeah, I'm trying to get you up here so you can kind of go around the side a little bit more. Because we're doing good damage, it's just I need to get more men trying to hit this unit so they die a little bit faster. Because it's only down to like 30 guys now at this point. And you kind of surround a little bit more. Cannon, please stop. There we go. They, they've now given up. 130 casualties, not the worst, could have been better. But there's one more city that we can give over to Hungary. Um, then, I'm just wondering, do I have enough movement to hit the other cities in the north of us right now? I was pretty close, and so maybe I will? I'd love if I could. If I if I was able to push on into that other city, that would mean that I can give the rest of Wallachia to Hungary, Hungary today. Because we have been noticing it, a small increase in their strength. And I appreciate that. I love that I can actually see them slowly being stronger. It's just I think that army is going to be in the way. So get a little bit of money there. Yeah. It only has three units again. But yeah, we'll walk around the backside. Oh, there's another army nearby. Hopefully they move away. But yeah, let's go give this over to Hungary. So let's go talk to you guys again. Give region. And then I want to give you guys... This region here. Go. So you've got another territory under your control, and you did get a garrison. There you go. Yeah, next turn we'll try and see if I can take this city. Hopefully that army moves away, because I don't think you have night battle. Um No, you do not. You do not have night battle. So if we had to fight, we'd have to fight that army as well. How how is the auto how have the Ottomans been doing? So overall has been dropping for them. Their overall has been dropping. So let's see. So you can kind of notice the time. Like, yeah, right here. So yeah, they have been going down in their military. Production's dropping. Territorially, they have plateaued and they are decreasing now. They almost have 70 regions. Oh my god. Financially, they're still doing pretty well. But population, they have a plateaued. Okay. That is good for us. That is good. Then I've got a little bit more money right now. How are you guys doing? Let's see. So I can train you. I've been able to train most of my stuff around here, actually. 
I basically just want to have it so, uh, what, those guys maxed out at, like, what, 150 again, was it? Because I kind of want to bring those guys back and get them retrained. Uh, it was you. 152. So if that's the case, um, yeah, you're fine. So I can bring you yes. here. Yes. You there. My lord. And then these two yes. units, I'm going to pull back, and, uh, yeah, we'll send them back here to be retrained. That way we can actually get some fresh troops in this army. Uh, also, do grab a cannon. Do grab a cannon. Building-wise, though, for money, is there anything I want to grab right now? I can get this grain exchange. Gets me a little bit about 70. There's some devastation here. Uh, this is... Yeah, I'm just about to deal with that. Ooh, a Master Merchant's Guild headquarters. Hell yeah. Charles VIII of France. Alrighty. Let's see, Deathstalk's land. I'm still fighting these over here. It's only the one character, so things are getting better around here. So keep trying to build stuff up around here. It's going to take us a while to make this into a better area, but that's fine. Um, family Tragedy? Who was that for? Uh, I don't know who that was. But it might not be on the Family Tree I have access to, so I can't see it. Let's see. You've got some better farms. Definitely get the better irrigation system. And then this is uh, Para. They're letting me sit here. Oh, actually, do I want to get... They're letting me build up Para. Like, if they're going to let me keep building it up, I'm going to. Because, like, I can get better troops around here. I can retrain my Cav here! Oh my god! Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad I pulled those other troops away. So now we can have it so that, like, just you guys will slowly build up Para for me. While I have my more important generals be focusing more on the offensive. So that's perfect. That's actually perfect for us right now. Um, relations with Austria. Okay. Ah, you guys did move away. So you guys moved away from the city. Perfect. So let's just make sure... Uh... Actually, I think that's going to make it so stuck. Let's see if I can go back around this way. Move out. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough movement now. But I was going to get stuck anyways. So uh, stand here. Wait until next turn. Next turn we can try and strike at that territory. Uh, other than that right now, building-wise... I've actually got a little bit more money. Let's see. I want to grab... Let's see. Who needs something? Oh, you guys don't have your mind yet here. It's not a crazy amount of money, but I will grab it. And then, is there anything else? No. We haven't been able to sack and take any more lands from the Ottomans just yet, so we haven't had a ton of money coming in from there. Um, I will know, make sure to do this. Because this way we'll at least be able to get rid of... Hello, Ivan! Uh, be able to get rid of some more devastation in the area. I think this is the last major rebel army um, that is in my lands currently. And so we'll start making our way down south. And you guys will start regrouping to help out in the proxy war in uh, Wallachia right now. Which I still appreciate how well that's going. Because as long as I can kind of deviate their attention away from me, and they have to focus on my allies... Fighting the Ottomans is actually not that hard. So let's have it so uh, you can group up, up to the side a little bit again, because I can't put them on top of the roads. Um, there we go. So yeah, you, you, and then you guys are the ones that can put the stakes down. So group up, and then I'll have it so that everybody else just groups up behind them for right now. Cav, group you guys up in the back, and then my infantry I'll just adjust in a second. So like you guys there and there. So start the battle. Group up there. You guys group up there. And then uh again, you are the hook gunner, so you're fine. You guys need to back up though a little bit and let one of the other hook gunners be in front. So you can go there, and then uh I'll have you again like right on top of these guys. You go over here. And it was this one go over here. And you guys kind of go off to the side a little bit. So like right there. And same kind of deal with you guys. So there's at least a space to shoot through. There we go. So infantry, guard mode, all my skirmishers, guard mode. And they do seem to be advancing on us. So everybody... Oh, no, now they're not. As soon as they fucking send there, of course. Okay. Let's go, let's go piss them off. Let's go uh, hit them with my cav. Let's see. So what do they have right here? These are basic skirmishers. I'll focus on their cab first. Focus on them. Bounce power is pretty close. So yeah, so I'll make my way over here. These are, uh, yeah, these are some horse archers. 
Horse archers and some of their heavy cav. I need to actually like start recruiting some of these guys occasionally because I know I actually should have access to these Lithuanian uh, Lajorai cav because I know I actually have access to them in some of my regions. And I know there are you. I will want to make sure that we actually focus on getting at some point. Yeah, focus on these arc abusers. Instantly break that guy if you can. Shake in. Eh, focus on the melee cav now. Yeah, now they're making their way over to us. Good amount of damage. I'd say let's pull out of here for now. Pull out, pull out. 14% of are already dead. Let's kind of lure this cab away a little bit now. So we can focus them down. Everybody else is already being shot at and taking quite a bit of good amount of damage. I like that. Okay, so let's have uh, you guys charge back in. You guys gotta go off to the side and surround this unit. If I can see where the hell it went. There it is. Yeah, surround that unit. Fourth of the enemy army is already dead at this point. Yeah, 38%. Uh, these spearmen are running over towards us. Hopefully... Yeah, you're running away. I need to pull back now at this point. Now that these spearmen are here. Oh, run over here, guys. Run over there. Ignore the spearmen. Let's get back over towards my forces, because it looks like you might try and flank me. Yeah, you're going to try and flank me. So we need to get back over this way. He charged. He charged into some of my infantry. Surround this guy now and take him out. Yeah, they charged here. You guys just need to turn around and hit him, and you'll be okay. Uh, and of course, they start trying to hit the other side. Let's see, this guy's almost dead. He's down to 25. They've lost almost half their army now at this point in time. So there's not all that much left of them. We just need to take out who the captain is, which is actually the current person I'm fighting. So if you guys kill this guy, that'll be the captain's out of the way, general's out of the way. Uh, you guys kind of adjust over here. Try and give some support over here specifically. This area definitely use some support from some guns. So start firing into that area. I'll bring my cab over there in a second. Because that's going to be the main area I need to help. Because at the moment right now... Yeah, do take this bastard out. Can you fuck off? There we go. He's running now. Oh, also, I forgot to turn skirmish right off with you guys. Okay, ignore him. And let's focus on these spearmen. So let's get over here. Charge them. They're shaking already. There we go. Okay, run them down. Try and hit that spearman too. He's going to not break. Okay, pull back. He's wavering. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, we're going to start a massive chain route. Yeah, it looks like we are. Perfect. It's going to break too. And there we go. And then we can just end the battle there. As we've run down enough of them, I would say. There. There's one more rebel army now out of the way. Now we can have it so that we'll keep sending you guys back down south. Didn't take too much damage. Well, infantry did, but that was primarily some of my uh, mercenaries. So I'm not going to be able to retrain those guys anyways. So we'll just have to keep making my way down south. I do have reinforcements gathering in my cities. So we can try and grab some more of those guys at some point. Also, I just realized I need to try and retrain that one Great Banner of Krakow unit I have on my island. Because that area right now... Uh, that guy has a lot of experience. I don't want to lose that. But yeah, march men together. And are there any other rebel armies? There's like a small one over here. There's a couple over here. But nothing crazy large. I'll at least like make my way down over this way and try and kill this one. I'll have to do that next turn, but we can at least try and take him out. But yeah, no, you just need to keep making your way up here. Uh, I have a little bit more money. But not enough to really get anything that I want right now. Let's see. Got another guy here. I'm going to say no for right now. We'll hold off on him. Um, over here, Yasi. Okay, so get in these areas. I need to send him over to my castles yes. properly to train these guys. So send them up there. <sighs> Death Plague is still affecting you, so we'll have to keep holding off on moving any units in here. But it's going well for right now. Um, and if you report... Let's see. This area can grow now. Okay, so let's grab that. Faction announcements. Secret love. Oh, no. Um, construction report. Okay, I did get a crop rotation around here. Can't get anything else that's crazy around here. I do need to at least get some more growth. So we'll get the horse mill. You guys got the better salt mine. Extensive mines. Ooh. That's a decent increase. Not as much as I would like, but it's still a decent increase. Um, and that's literally all the money I have for right now, at least. So let's go back. Ah, oh, yes, did provide. I will there. make them fear you. Can you not? Again, my allies are holding this land. Um, I actually think. Your will shall be obeyed. 
I'm gonna send you over this way for right now. I want to claim this area. This area is pretty weak for right now. I think it's a good time to try and go on the counteroffensive. So we, I'm gonna move you up too. I've deviated enough attention away that I think it's kind of fine to bring you guys over this way. Um, that rebel army ran. Okay. I will have it so that you guys. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of you. Keep making my way down here. And then I want to grab. Uh, I know I had somebody like this guy. Just, just another infantry unit essentially. Grab another infantry unit, have them kind of follow along with us, and uh, you'll take over. So I'm going to have it so that you'll kind of make your way back in around here. Hopefully by the time you get down here, they have a smaller garrison. I'm going to have you make your way over to uh, take this city and actually capture that for us. And then I can move my forces that I have in Macau forward, try and claim that, and then have it so that's where you guys are going to be trying to defend next. I think it's a pretty good way to go about it. And they're still... Leave me alone a para. I don't know why. Like, they're actually slowly but surely letting me build my stuff up around here. <sighs> Another Tartar raid. Uh, hopefully it's not a big one. I kind of wish it would tell me where those spawn. Um, also, I do have some forces over here that I need to remember to actually bring forward. So, let's keep bringing you guys over this way. And then, let's see. So, for right now, I can get to about here. So, go there. Grab that guy. And then you'll again be going down through this territory. They are reducing their numbers. Yeah, the, the reason they had that such a large army is because I was next to them. So I'm going to make my way over here. Keep trying to go over to hit you guys. Uh, but Cal, I kind of want to move this stuff up now. So you guys happy to move that all out? Yeah. So we'll try and... Yeah, you'll be able to get over there next turn if I take it. So make your way there. Mission failed. Uh, I was just about to take it. Um, Jenny Honorable. And there's no plague now. Theodosia, let's see. I'm going to have you guys. Ooh, I think I want to finally get this. So we want to get this, because I want those crossbows. I want those crossbows so bad. They're such a good damn unit. And uh, that will give me a little bit more trade. Uh, I actually am losing more from the corruption, though. <sighs> I should get rid of more of this corruption if I can. Let's get the better jail, then. Yeah, that gets another 130 back for us. Let's do that first. Um, you guys... How are you doing for corruption? Corruption's not the worst around here. But I would say for you guys right now, probably need to get some more growth. So keep trying to focus on that. Although I do need to make sure... I should stop on that for now. This place takes top priority. So I want to make sure we keep building this, the area up. I'm going to grab the basic port first. That way I can actually start retraining this fleet around here. And then we'll keep getting the better garrison quarters and everything right now. Um, I haven't been able to get the next autonomy decree just yet. So I don't know how long it's going to take until that allows me to do that. Also, can I do a crusade? Also, why does the Pope not like me? Seriously, why? You should love me right now. So, back over here. Uh, yeah, this army... It's going to take you how many turns again? It's going to take you, like, two turns to get down here. And again, hopefully they keep that garrison low around there. That'd be perfect if they do. Guys, no. I have been kicking your ass. There's no reason for me to accept this. Very well. Goodbye. Like, honestly, you guys have not been able to take a single piece of land from me, except for Constantinople, which I took from you. Um, and so far, I have been pushing you back in Wallachia. I have been doing damage to you guys. That's just insulting at this point. There's no reason for me to accept a vassalization by you guys. Like, I am on my way to destroy the Ottomans. Slowly but surely, we are making my way down south. Um, I will have to have it, though, so... Let's see, because I'm going to be taking the Ibriel area. Because I basically want to have it so, like, what do I want to control for myself? I'm trying to think about that. I kind of want to have it so, like, I'll basically be controlling, essentially, like, the Black Sea is kind of how I imagine it. But we're going to, like, push down at least to Constantinople for sure. And we'll hold a little bit of land in Anatolia, possibly. But I feel like I might give, like, a good chunk of the uh, Ottomans' lands in um, the Greece over to Hungary, I'd say. So, new mission. Blockade port, uh, Bursa, and I'll get some units. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. My port can't, my can't uh, upgrade just yet anyway, so... I'll send you over there, because hopefully they'd give me uh, some great banners of Krakow, because I'd love if they do that. Uh, Entry port, construction port. Let's see, you need to get a better irrigation system here. Um, sleep market we upgraded here. Let's have you guys... Yeah, get rid of some of that corruption. Try and get some the better jail right now. Diplomatic information. Okay. Now we've got a little bit more money. I would want to say... Let's see, how much does that give? 
Oh, not that bad. It's only three, so we make a little bit more money there, so we can grab that. You guys need more growth, but I don't have enough for this. How much does that cost again? 2400 So it's not it's not enough that if we get stopped building that, we'd be able to grow the area more. So I think we'll hold off on that. I think we'll save the rest of my money for right now, because actually, I should be able to. Yes, I can. This is pushing the front up a lot. I'm a little worried about that. Let's see, what do you guys have in here? This is just a basic palace guard unit. I don't trust you to not damage my uh, wagon fort, so let's attack this. And then I need to put the other army in here. And I'm hoping that the army that I had in Bacau is going to be able to hold this area. Because that's my hope. Because I want to start being able to like slowly push the front forward so we can slowly group up with my forces that I have in Para. Because with them not taking that area, I can slowly develop that region. And that is a castle that should basically never fall as long as I am able to get enough men in there. So let's get you guys. Uh, cannon, just get a little bit closer. And then for the most part, this is probably going to be... Actually, I want to use my uh, skirmishers here because this is just an infantry unit. So we'll try and have it so that we can just try and shoot him to death. So put you guys up. And then just go there, there, there. Start the battle. Is he in the walls initially? Uh, he is, but not in the area that I can actually shoot right now. So... Just try and unload with the bombard, break down the gates. And then once they're down, I honestly love what they just set up in the city center. So I can just get some guns and just gun them down while he's sitting in the city center. Alrighty, my archers at least in range. Uh, guns will now start unloading as well. I've got some of my other hook gunners. You're just going to get set up over here in case they make their way over towards us. At the moment, they aren't. So they're freely just letting me shoot them. Oh, they're actually making their way over to uh, this group. Sure. That's a... That works, I guess, or just gets you just barely out of range. If I need to, I can try and just keep making my way forward to keep shooting you guys. Like you guys can go there. You guys can get a little bit closer here. These units at least are able to open up. Not doing a lot of damage, but they are getting some kills. Okay, I got two balls. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could sit in the city center or just barely out of it and shoot them. Uh, let's run back over this way now to get to my other hook gunners. So run back here, guys. Get in range of my other units, or they can just pull back. That's fine. Yeah, archers reform here. So go right there, and then you guys just need to get a little bit closer. They're almost dead. They only have uh, yeah, 50 guys left. There we go. A little bit more damage I would have liked, but 30 casualties is not bad. So now we're going to control this region. Um, I should be able to have it, so what we'll do is take the forces that I had in Macau, put them in here immediately. Then this force will make their way back over to start trying to harass the forces of the Ottomans a little bit more around Wallachia and basically have it so that I will continue trying to give a little bit more land over to Hungary. And actually, I'm not realizing that I might need to start trying to figure out like what campaign is going to take over this one soon. Um, but seeing as how I know, once we get things going, I think we're going to actually start trying to, uh, we're going to start making some pretty good uh, headway against the Ottomans. I feel like at least. So let's repair this stuff, try and get that built up there. And then you guys... Should be able to have it so... Oh, they can't get in the damn city. So, sit on the bridge for now. We have to sit here for a turn at least. I'll be able to put you in there next turn at least right now. But hey, I've been able to push the front up a little bit. You also are making your way over here. So keep trying to make your way up this way. You should be able to take that city ideally next turn. And then we can give that over to Hungary. And that will be Wallachia done. Then we need to start like, kind of pushing across the, uh, the river and start pushing more into Bulgaria and, like, northern Greece. I know, like, this area I'm still slowly but surely building up, but, like, hey, once you're ready around here, I can easily start just, like, hitting some of the lands they've got around here to really do some good damage to them. Let's see. Uh, another guy here. I'm going to say no for right now. We'll hold off on that. Uh, ooh. Mounted cavalry soldier equipped with breastplates. Do I get new units? No, just Austria. Just Austria. Um, Selim the first. Dreamers of the Turkish and Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. So they just got a new character. Interesting. So he actually took a lot of expansion for them. Damn. Okay. And then, I made a lot of footage. Um, was a Polish nobleman, diplomat, and expert of Southeastern Europe. Did I just get a new. Diplomat unit? My lord. That'd be a first. That's a yeah. Oh no, I just have another dude! I just have another dude! Lovely! Oh, more wagon forts. Thank you. 
So grab that, Death Sox land. Um, different area now. Okay, so we're actually fine over there perfectly. It took long enough, we are now able to find. Um, let's see, so again, you guys down here right now. Yeah, this area is now stopped being plagued. Perfect. Now we can actually start trying to build this up a little bit more and not have to worry about accidentally spreading it to my other family members. Um, let's see, this stuff has been repaired. Keep trying to get the better autonomy decrees. And then I will have it so that this army, yeah, get out of here. You guys go in. And there are some mercenaries. You guys have sharpened stakes. I'm actually going to grab you so I can give that over to this army. So let me grab you. And then maybe some horse archers. Yeah, I think some horse archers could be useful for defense. So, grab these three units, get them over there, and then this army. Uh, we want to make my way back over this way, so we're going to keep trying to harass over in Wallachia. That's still under the Ottomans' control. They've got a massive-ass army right here. Um, hi. Yep, please ignore me, as I'm just going to walk around you, and my allies are in the way. I can't walk. I can. Well, I can go over this way. I don't want to, but like this gives me a bit more movement. Otherwise, because there's no guarantee that my units, that allies unit, is gonna move. Ah, uh, not exactly what I want, but that's okay. So there we go with all of that. Let's give you all doing more construction. Uh, you guys, I would say. Ooh, I get a war galley if I wanted to. Ooh, a little bit of corruption here too. Um, I would say yeah, let's get the ship right. Yeah, get the ship right. And then what else do I want to grab? You guys can finally get the windmill. And that's all the money I've got for right now. So let me just do... I think maybe do one more end turn. And then... Well, we could maybe do... I, I kind of want to like finish this off. If nothing else happens, then I can probably at least do just two quick turns. Take the city. And then uh, give it over to Hungary. And then probably be done for today. Okay, they are actually sieging me now. At that new area that I just recently took from them. Uh, Merchants Guild Niasi. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. People are like, oh, my Pope died already. And I don't even get to vote for myself. Damn it. I'm going to vote for Pope. Uh... <laughs> I love that I wasn't able to be there, but I just can just rig the election. So it is now Hungary is now the uh, new Pope. Can I please get a crusade? But no, this area is sieged. Uh, I think you guys will be okay. Please. <gasps> Finally. What would be a good air? Ooh. There's so many areas I could select for a crusade. Oh, but I can finally now select a crusade on the Ottomans. Um, I personally... I'm going to probably have it so we wait until like next turn to do this. But I personally feel like... Uh, you. Because that's close enough to me that I can take advantage of it. I'm also just worried if they're not going to actually let me do the crusade right now. They might not. That area's still plagued. But, I, I do now have it so I can start doing a crusade there. You guys can now get the better autonomy decree around here. Um, and then, how many turns do I have to sit here? Three turns. So, three turns I had to sit there, so we'll be able to get some better stuff later. Um, you guys have now been built up around here. Let's get the better fairground, maybe? Yeah, decent amount of income. Yeah, grab that. And then I've got a little bit more. Maybe not enough to get anything I want. No, because there's just devastation around there. Is there a rebel army around here? I don't see one. Okay. But I do think... Yeah, you guys have been uh, reconciled there. Um, I do think we'll probably be done for today, seeing as how... I kind of want to cause uh, start that crusade. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I can just do this. If the crusade works... I can use that as an opportunity to try and hit this city. And I'm not keeping these areas anyways. Um, and then I can have it so we just hit that area, run away, give that over to... Hell yeah! Run over to... Um... Yeah, so we've called a crusade finally on the Ottomans. Took long enough. Then we can have you join the crusade. You'll have more movement. I can also have you join the crusade. So you have more movement. And then uh, I think it's just the you two for right now. Yeah. So, I want to have you, so let's slowly walk around this way. Hopefully there's nobody in the way here. Men, and then no oh, one's oh. in the way here. Perfect. Oh, you don't have a cannon. Yeah, you don't have a cannon in this army. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. 
Um, that's fine. You you at least have a cannon. So I can have you be the one that hits this. I. Good. I was about to say, if you make me take any damage on my wagon force, I'm going to be pissed. But there we go. We've now been able to take uh, this city. Now we can have it so that you guys walk on in there. And then this army just keeps pushing down. So the crusade is literally right here. So we'll make our way down here. Keep trying to make my way down there with you too. And then I just need to give this territory over back to the Hungarians. But we have now started a crusade. Finally, once again. It took long enough to be able to get another crusade that can actually target the Ottomans. I actually really feel like I'm going to have to start figuring out what I'm going to be playing after this campaign now. Because this has been going well. This this proxy war has been doing really well against the Ottomans. So if like, we go back to this. Um, so you can see that like me and Hungary are slowly going up. The Ottomans are going up again in a little bit too. But territorially, me and the Ottoman, me and Hungary are going up. The best thing is that uh, Austria is, I'm sorry, Hungary is actually getting more money. That means they're actually gonna be able to like do more for themselves, which is good. So that's like the main thing. It's like they're actually doing better for that. But hey, we're now gonna go for Crusade. I almost wonder if I want to control this myself, or if I should give this over to uh, Hungary. That's like the thing I'm debating on, because like I know. I need to keep making my way down south. Oh, actually, you can join Crusade, too. I forgot about that. You can also join the Crusade. <laughs> More Crusades! Because I honestly should start pushing forward and, like, use this as an opportunity to try and, like, reconnect with uh, Para. But I think I will be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts to have on it in general. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.